Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I made this very simple one button game, which kind of replicates Flappy Birds. And to make this project a little bit more interesting, I'm going to be doing this with the help of ChatGPT or any other AI service which you want to use. And we're going to be using some 3D printing as well, just to give everything a complete look. So with that being said, let's jump into it. Let's first have a run through of the components we'll be using for this project. For our microcontroller, we're going to be using the Wemos D1 Mini. This is one of my favorite microcontrollers. Although it comes with Wi-Fi capabilities, that's not the main reason why I'm using it. The reason why I chose this microcontroller for this project is because out of all the ones that I have on hand, this is by far the smallest. Then for the game display, we're going to be using this OLED screen. This is a very standard I2C 0.96 inch screen that I got from Amazon. It's got a nice clear display and it will work great for this particular project. To power the project, I'm going to be using this 3.7 volt LiPo battery that is rechargeable in conjunction with this charging module. So these two will be soldered together. And then if I want to recharge the battery, I can just use a USB-C cable to recharge it so that's quite handy it's also got quite a small form factor which helps making this thing too big and lastly we're going to be using this push button so that we can actually play the game and i'm going to be using this little switch so that i can power on and off to try and save battery life now that we had our components ready it was time to use our trusted friend chat gpt to get some wiring instructions and also a sketch as always, it takes a little bit of trial and error and a bit of give and take with this thing to try and get an accurate sketch. But once I was happy with what I was seeing, I thought it was time to give it a go. Alright guys, it is the moment of truth. So here's the breadboard all put together. Now it's time to test the circuit. Power out. Lovely. That is a good start. And here we go. One, two, three. Well, hey, look at that. There you have it guys. We've got a fully working game. Now I'm just going to try and test some of the features, so obviously we want that once we hit the top or the bottom of the screen the character dies, which is good. And I want to have a little tally of score at the bottom building up as well. Awesome, lovely. There we go guys, so that's probably the biggest milestone so far. And now that we've got a fully working prototype, it's time to get everything soldered up so everything's on one sort of solid platform and then we can go ahead and get a case 3D printed for this. But so far, so good. Let's move on. I've gone ahead and soldered everything up and well, yeah, it could do with being a little bit tidier, but for now, I just want to see everything working. So here's the switch. Yeah, so I'm just going to switch everything on. There you go. Lovely. And you can just about make out there the button. And let's have a little go. There you go. Now, as I was soldering this, I realized obviously it looks quite messy and 
usually the way I like to do these projects is solder everything up and then build a case around it. But this time I think I'm going to do something a little bit different. Rather than going down that approach, what I'm actually going to do is make the enclosure fit the main components in and then solder them together that way so that really I know exactly how much wiring I need. And also I can avoid everything being this messy in the future. So I think that might be a way of going about it. I don't know if it's the best way, but it's certainly worth trying. So I'm actually going to go ahead and desolder everything here. Model the case, fit things in, and then solder again. So possibly the long-winded way, but that's what makes all this fun. So let's let's give that a go. And here's a quick overview of the final design. For this project, I decided to use a nice matte black PLA. And guys, here's the finished project. So, you can see the game is working perfectly. It's got all the basic functions that I set out for it to have. It's obviously by no means the most advanced game you can make, but I think this is a really nice step into the world of, well, DIY gaming, quite literally. In terms of the hardware, we've got a switch that turns everything on and off, so that will help save battery. And then obviously we've got the push button to play with. I really think a matte black PLA was a good choice for this, it gives it that nice sleek minimalist design. I was actually trying to mimic one of those retro Game Boys, um, I didn't quite get there but I think hopefully next time around we'll be able to get a bit closer. And that is a wrap for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it, this was definitely one of my favourite projects. If you did enjoy this video please consider liking, subscribing and leaving some comments down below. Drop a comment as to what project you'd like me to have a go at next and I'll leave some links to similar projects that I've made in the past. But until then, I'll see you all in the next video.